Pleasant good morning to one and all. Thank you for the welcome on behalf of LNS. We thank you for inviting us and having us here. Um, today, my presentation is basically giving you a look inside of the LNS cadastral inventory system. Now, just, just a bit of an overview, I give you tell, tell you a bit about us, tell you a bit about the system, also the challenges we came across, and basically the conclusion and our way forward. So basically, our mission statement is to provide a full range of surveying and related engineering services in keeping with the needs of the market and to deliver superior service to our clients through professional, well-trained, highly motivated and rewarded staff. Now, LNS is situated in San Fernando, and we've been formed since 2000. And we, we are, have been established as one of the leading surveying companies in Trinidad and Tobago. We're currently celebrating 15 years of excellence in surveying and mapping, and the organization has approximately 60 full-time staff spread across our surveying, drafting, and underground detection departments. Also, basically what we use, we sell. So we have, we provide sales and survey consumables. You will see that in the booth to the back. Also, we are still certified in the high risk category. And our staff is very diverse, which, diverse, sorry, which range from Trinidad and Tobago licensed surveyors, geomatician, geomatics engineers, also persons with master degrees in different fields. And also we have a photogrammetrist on staff. Now, basically, the LNS cadastral inventory, the purpose was to provide efficient and effective data management system, which would aid in resource management, and we needed value-added data in terms of location. Because at LNS, we perform a lot of cadastral surveys, and what we noticed that the files from since 2000 till now, the entire 15 years, what has happened is that the files have surmounted to so much that when we need to locate a file, it has, it has been a problem in the past. So basically, how the cadastral system works is that we have basically three workflows. The first workflow is the data entry. First, this is where we enter new information, so entry of attribute data. And this attribute data consists of the client name, it consists of the parcel address, it consists of the ward. All of this is overlaid onto ward sheets, onto different types of geographic data sets. The next, the next step is verification by stand, because yes, we have the file, but what, how would we know that this was entered into the GIS system so we could store it away? There's a stamp that's placed on the final plan and the folder. So that indicates to us that yes, that this plan has been entered into the GIS system. The next step is the scanning and the copying of the final plan. Also, yes, we have hard copies, but it's very good in these times to have a soft copy of whatever you're doing. And then finally is the filing of the completed cadastral surveys. The next workflow is the updating of, is updating the system in terms of if there was a client who had a cadastral survey, but yet he did a redefinition, but now he wants to do a subdivision of that same land. Therefore, we need to update that certain, that certain parcel. Therefore, the first step will be editing and entry for the new attribute later. And then again, once again, be verification by stamp. And this is not just the file, yes, we would have done that already, but the new plan, which would have been lodged within our system. Also, you would scan and copy the new updated plans, and you would file and update the information with each respective cadastral survey. The next workflow would be searches, which is very important. Because when a client comes in to see us, and we haven't spoken to this client in five years, and we have to do work with him, 
how are we going to locate the plan? Are we going to go back to the old ways and say, oh dear, I remember this was somewhere in Williamsville. Let me look in Ward 53 slot. And no, we can't do that. We have to be efficient and manage our resources effectively. Because yes, the GIS data plays a role in where we could where we could find the data in terms of location, but also it links to how we deal with our customers and our customer service. So where we would do, we would do queries by attribute or location. Then we would retrieve those files from the query results. Also, when we retrieve those files and they need the hard folder, we log which files were removed. And then when it's brought back, we sign, we have a signing off of which files were returned. So that if we go into the system and we say, James, we did a survey for James. And we looked and we realized, hey, it is in the system, but it's not in the place where it is filed. Now we could look into the logbook and say, yes, Martha has this since February and it hasn't been returned to us. So it's a good way for us to keep track in terms of resource data management, which then results for us in better resource management. So this is a closer look of the overall system on the ward polygons for Trinidad and Tobago. And each point here represents basically a cadastral that LNS would have done within the 15 year period. This is about 75% of the cadastrals that we'd have done within this period. And each point here is represented by the coordinate based on a coordinate found within the plan or the survey that was done. And you might want to know, why are we doing this? Because in the past, we would have different surveyors working for us. And each supervisor would take on a different cadastral. But at the end of the day, when we go to a parcel of land, despite the different searches we would do at lands and surveys and what's not, it's very critical for us to know that, hey, we actually did a survey right next to that parcel. That is value-added information for us. So for us to see all of this in a context and not just in files is very important to us. So basically, for each dot, it would have attribute data, which is the X, y, Z, the X and Y coordinates, sorry, the ward sheet, the county, and now we have to incorporate things like the city and the borough. Also, the year the survey was done and where each person would find this plan. And then you have all scanned plans. There's a hyperlink that you could simply click. The plan pops up where you could see it or is stored on our server, where it's easy, easily accessed. Now the challenges we had were the sorting of the files, where it was so much because data entry, that is simple, but getting all the data in, such, in a manner in which it could be used into the GIS, that is where the work comes. So therefore, sorting the files, making sure that this plan, because we're talking about plans since 2000, the inception when LNS was, had been started. So sorting the files, that was a lot of challenge there. Then retrieval of coordinates for older surveys, because before older surveys didn't have coordinate onto their plans. So what we had to do, we had to source that from site visits that we would have done, from solar observations, or from scaling off from the ward sheet in terms of documentation. And then the next challenge was clarification and classification of various files. Because yes, we're in a business, yes, but when clients come to us, Sometimes they just want searches done, or they don't want to proceed with the cadastral part as yet. So what do you do with those files that are just searches? You have to, we have a classific classification system and a catalog in which now where you go, you could see, okay, this is Ward 53, this is Ward whatever, and, it gives, and the system gives you an idea now where to look. You don't have to be guessing. So when a client comes in, they don't have to be waiting 15 minutes while you find a file. And this is not for clients who makes appointment, but we have the impromptu clients who, comes, who, come in, who would come in and say, hey, we did a service five years ago, I just passed it by, I would like to know if I get a final plan. Stuff like that, you could easily retrieve this. And the conclusion, the system have proven to be very successful for us in terms of for the retrieval of soft and hard copy files and for the provision of spatial and attribute information on jobs done in a required area to be surveyed. Now, the system continues to be updated. We still have some items, some files to be entered from the 2000 era. But what we do, instead of just focusing on entering 2000, those new files for 2015, we enter them also. So you won't have a backlog and be wondering, hi. Hey, because as you could see from the from this scan, you could see most of these surveys are happening within near central coming to south. So it's very important to have these records at our fingertips. 
Also, the system is backed up with each update, which is very important. We don't want to lose data. After doing all of this work and any data gone, that would be, that'd be very <laughs> disastrous for us. So we backed up the data daily with each update. And also, we are also considering this application for our projects. Because at LNS, we divide our jobs into private cadastrals and projects. Projects meaning the bigger one, private cadastrals, meaning projects with cadastral in nature, whether it be lossification, whether it be subdivision, redefinition, excision, stuff like that. So that's the end of my presentation. If you have any questions, I'll be willing to answer. <laughs>